Hey everybody, it's Missy. Thanks for joining me again today. I have a new layout for Simple Stories. And for this layout, I used the Let's Party collection. And I decided to do a layout um, about my 40th birthday, which was back in February. And I started with this really cute confetti pattern paper. And I used my Cameo to cut a big 40 out of the middle. And this picture is of me and my best friend in Las Vegas, which is where I celebrated my birthday and we're having some fruity beverages there. And I'm just trying to play around with where I wanna put the picture. I kinda of like how it looks stuck there in the four just because of the angle of um, my friend there and the, the four kind of slants to the right and she kind of fit right in that little nook. But I wasn't sure. Um, I'm not going to worry about that at this point. I'm just going to worry about what I'm going to do behind this big 40. There's a lot of color, a lot of fun patterns in this collection. Um, you could certainly make other things besides a birthday layout. Um, but for this one, I, I definitely was inspired to use some of the birthday ideas in it. So to back the 40, I went through the 6x6 paper pad and picked out a bunch of different colors and patterns. And I'm just going to cut strips, just freehand here with my scissors, and kind of create a bunch of different lines behind the numbers here. And this is something really good that you could do with a 6x6 paper pad. Sometimes if you want to get a collection and you don't want to splurge and get the entire thing, you know, you could get the six by six paper pad and do things like this because it doesn't take much from each paper. If you're just cutting little strips, if you want to, if your style includes backing cut files, like I do a lot, you really don't use that much of pattern paper. And so the six by six paper pad is a good way to go because you can get a lot of use out of it especially if you're going to do things like this where you just use little bits and pieces scraps basically from each piece of paper so i take some time here and i'm just gonna glue these strips down so i've got some patterns i've got some solids i want this to be fun and festive and bright i love the idea of the confetti coming down on that pattern paper and i like that the rest of it is pretty you know, it's blank, so you can really jazz it up however you want to. Okay, so I've got the numbers backed, and as you can see, that's pretty busy. I've got lots of color, lots of patterns. I did the stripes going in different diagonal directions. And now I'm back to where am I going to put the picture. Um, actually printed it out smaller. I'm going to use a smaller version of it because I think the, the original one that I printed was just too big and obviously I can't move the 40 around so I've got to use the picture somewhere in relation to it. So I'm going to do a little bit of pattern paper backing here to create a fun little mat just to kind of give some separation between the background and the picture. And I definitely used a black and white picture because I knew that this was going to be basically an explosion of color everywhere and I did not want competing pictures and plus we were inside of a restaurant and the, the lighting was kind of wonky and and reddish so um, the picture needed to be converted to black and white. Okay so I fussy cut those words big deal and I'm going to make that part of my title and it's going to be kind of a big deal you know because turning 40 is a big deal and uh, I wanted that to be part of my title when I saw that on that pattern paper. So I fussy cut those letters out. I'm going to use those later. But you know me, I have to add some messy stuff to my pages. So I'm going to use some white gesso here and use my hand and just smudge some over the letters. Or those aren't letters. The numbers. Just to kind of fade them out a little bit because they are so bright and so busy. And it's going to give my... I'm going to use gelatos here, but it's going to give those somewhere to go and, and not seep right in through those pattern papers. Because pattern paper itself is not really equipped to deal with a bunch of wet stuff, and so the gesso definitely helps to toughen it up a little bit. So I'm just using my favorite technique here, the packaging technique. I'm going to pull out several colors that are in my background papers here starting with this orange and I just want to create some watercolor coming out from behind the picture and I've decided that the picture is going to go on the lower right hand area 
And if you haven't ever tried gelatos, they are super easy to use. You could draw them directly on the paper or you could treat them like watercolor and just scribble on the plastic, add some water, and then instantly you've got some liquid color there. And that's just how I like to do it. Um, it they're easy to mix colors, just scribble a couple of colors together and blend them together nicely. Very easy to do. You have to be careful with red because you don't want it to look like blood. But I, I did need to use some red because there is red in this layout and so I needed a little bit of red color. And I didn't mean to get that extra little drop down there at the bottom, but it's okay. So that's kind of how I want this to go. And there's an example of just scribbling right onto the paper and then using a little bit of water to smudge it around. And now I've found, I have found that with gelatos or really any type of mixed media product that um, gesso does help with the blending factor and the spreading around of the color factor because it does not seep right into the paper right away. The gesso kind of acts as a barrier and it's going to help your color to blend a lot easier. So I'm going to add some splatters again and just the, the matching colors that I've got going on here. I didn't want to go overboard because you may think this is overboard. For me this is not too overboard because I know the 40 itself is kind of busy. But adding the photo does break it up. Things look totally different when you're making the background like this, but when you start to add your photo or photos to the background, it really does change the whole landscape of the layout. So I would advise never throwing away a background until you've actually tried the photos on it first because it, it's going to look different once you start to put your pictures and embellishments down on it. I'm going to do a little bit of the same color up at the top of the left of the four. And another, I guess you could say, I don't want to say problem, but a problem with mixed media is, for me, it's so much fun that it's hard to know when to stop. It is possible to go overboard. Um, but I think I stopped. Yes, I did. I let it dry and then I did some machine stitching directly around the numbers and I was very proud of myself for getting that as straight as I did because usually it's very crooked. So I'm going to use one of the chipboard frames, that red one, but I'm not going to put it over my picture. I'm going to use it under as a layering piece and I'm going to use a bunch of die cuts and these are from the bits and pieces pack. I'm going to use those two little cute banners on those poles coming out of the top of the picture. I'm going to use some stars and they're glittery stars. Even though it's like paper glitter, it's not real glitter. They look really real, like real glitter. They're very cute. And then I'm going to use that birthday piece up at the top. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish my title here. Kind of a big deal. I still can't believe I'm 40. It just seems like last week I was waiting to get my driver's license and it took forever to turn 16 and now I blinked and I'm 40 which is cool but still you know what I mean so I'm gonna add some pop dots behind these little banners or little flags whatever you want to call them I think those are super cute and I love the colors now I'm gonna come in with one of my favorite things and that is tangled thread And I've got some red and some green, and I just play around with it and put it in different places. Yellow. So I'm gonna get all that glued down and everything stuck down. This collection is really fun. Um, lots of stars, 
lots of little flags and banners and I'm going to use I've got a banner sitting over there I don't think I've glued it down yet underneath the four the little triangle banner I'm going to use that I'm going to glue down big deal and then I'm going to come in up at the top and this little happy banner is too cute I love the rainbow effect and again it's that glittery look it looks very very sparkly and then I'm going to come in with some of the stars I felt like something on the left side of the picture needed a little brightening up so I'm going to use an orange star and a green brad so I've got two little banners over here on the left and I know there are a couple of them in the bits and pieces the die cut pack and there's also a couple of them in the snap pack if you get the snap pack there's also a little spot where they keep some of the uh, more little die cuts and they're very similar to the bits and pieces pack so I went through and picked out a couple of these cute banners and I'm gonna use brads no not brads enamel dots at the ends of each one of them so it looks like they are hanging with little nails I guess you could say or thumbtacks and then up at the top on the left part of the four I'm gonna bring in another cute little small yellow and white striped frame and I'm just gonna make a little cluster up there with some balloons and that happy banner and then a couple of word stickers or one word sticker it says woohoo and some thread more stars stars were really fun and you know stars are perfect for a celebration page or a birthday page and there's some in the die cut pack and there's some on the sticker sheet so there's a lot of those I'm gonna go through with my pencil and just kind of lightly outline the inside of the 40 just to make it pop a little bit more and then I'm going to draw my lines down here underneath Big Deal and I'm going to write in my journaling. And I believe that's going to be the last thing that I do. This was a really fun layout to put together. I highly recommend this collection if you want to scrap birthdays or celebrations because it's just fun, festive, and it just puts me in a good mood to use it because it's just so happy and so colorful and that's my favorite thing to do so um, let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did uh, or anything in the simple stories collection um, I will see you guys in the next video I hope you have a great day and take care